was, I was, was going to say that, like, because the idea of the, the conspiracy is that there's a small group of people that blueprinted ah, this. That's whereas what, yeah. it's, it's not, a, a, like, I don't think, like, because obviously no one could disagree with you that there's something going on and that there's a movement and BLM is just, like, one version of it, but there's a lot of, you could say, what's going on yeah, with the they transgender. They call themselves Marxists, right? The, the founders of BLM said we, ha we have a Marxist framework. That's Yes, said, but that doesn't mean that they're they're trying to... That, that means that they're not neo-Marxists then. They're Marxists. Okay, because they're, fair the neo -Marxism, sure. sure. The neo-Marxism term specifically means cultural Marxism, meaning let's infiltrate universities, take over the system. Yes, that's exactly what Black Lives Matter does. Y yeah, but it's not neo-Marxist because it's not... It's, it's, it's trying to take over the system, but it's not doing it. It's not like Herbert Marcuse's and, and uh, Gramsci's blueprint master plan of like, Marxism is now untenable, which is what Peterson says. Marxism became untenable, so it had to be transmuted into another form, which was neo-Marxism, which is sleight of hand sure. Marxism, where we're like, we're not actually Marxists. Whereas the Black Lives Matter people are saying openly, we're Marxists. It's not, right. it's not a secret, but then, it's not neo-Marxist. Sure, okay, okay, so a couple things. So first off, on the conspiracy side, I wanted to say, I agree with you that it is, I think it is wrong to think that there's a small group of people who are like getting together and saying, this, these are our goals, for takeover, at least in the postmodern sense. Now, with Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum, that's a different story. I think it's less it's less philosophical and just more economic and whatever. We can get into that. Uh, we, well, let's not get into that. But, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, let's not do that. Uh, separately, you know, once I formulated my thoughts better. But um, but I do think like like ideologies can serve as organizing uh, as mechanisms of organized action. So like Christians going out and converting people or Christians wanting to overturn Roe v. Wade. It's not like there's a literal, I mean, there is obviously the Catholic archdiocese or whatever, and they get together, but like- Oh no, there's, there's, a, there's a conspiracy. Well, again, I had a friend who's be very leftist came to me with this. There was like, there was a small group of people um, in the Republican- Pushing for Who it. came together in the 70s and they were like, We're gonna, how we what's, gonna what's, what's an issue? They turned it into an issue. They turned sure. Roe v. Wade into an issue. And and so everything that you're seeing now is like a downstream effect from this small group of people. But sure. again, that's, that's and, an interesting tangent. Yeah, and, tangent. And, and, fair, and that's fair enough. But I would, I would, also, I would say it's, a, it's like kind of a, you know, what percentage is of like organized conspiracy versus what percentage of it is, this is how ideology functions in people. Like, like your average Christian yeah. is just gonna go, well, yeah. you know, my pastor, said abortion's wrong or gay marriage is wrong or something like that. So therefore yeah. I'm going to go out and act in accordance with this set of this ideology, Christian ideology. Right. And even and this though this is something a, I find. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, sorry, well, sorry. I'm getting excited. Yeah, even though there's an institutional organized aspect to Christian ideology, the fact that it plays out in individuals to me is, is less conspiratorial. That's just how the ideology works out, which is how I would think about, Black Lives Matter and postmodern neo-Marxism. It's like the ideology, yeah. Black Lives Matter the, and the ideology it purports acts on its own without necessarily having organized, you know, how do we meet together and have Antifa cells and stuff like that. It's a lot, you know, both can be true, but the more relevant thing is how does the ideology play out in the individuals? But what are your thoughts? Yes, so it's, uh, there's just there's so much there, but the thing for me that's exciting is that's the gods. You know what I mean? This is, this is these are the new gods because it's, it's something that motivates you towards action because like, you're not talking about an individual motivation. So we've moved away from an, a, a small group of individuals and we're now talking about something like, like Dawkins is, talks about the meme. Yes. We're talking about a cultural meme, cultural, cultural memes that possess large groups of people to act in ways that are similar and to hold similar beliefs. And that in the old days was called a god. You sure. know what I mean? It's this, it's this motivating it's dynamic force. Right. Yeah, it's an archetypal force that's gathered this energy to it. And is like so. Young said this thing in uh, talking about World War Two. He said that between World War One and World War Two, in a lot of his patients, he noticed the emergence of what he called the Blonde Beast, which he attributed he, he associated with the the ancient Nordic god Wotan. So Odin in the in the the northern tradition, but in Germany it would have been Wotan. Is that he, he associated with the reawakening of the god Wotan in the German psyche? And this is this warring, the this, Aryan this, uh, kind of. So not necessarily Aryan, because 
I mean, Aryan is, is such a... Everything from Shiva to... Okay, sure. If you actually Fair think enough. about what Aryan means, Indo-Aryans goes from Ireland to, to India. So okay. it's... Got it. But, like, it's this, this ancient pagan Germanic god reawakening and being, like, driving the Germans in a certain direction. And you can see this, this merging between the occultic kind of new age with this German nationalism. Yeah, fused Hitler was very, very big into, like, the form. occultic symbolism and all that stuff. Crazy. Right? And it's because, like... It, there was a, a godlike energy driving the Germans during World War II, during the during the Nazi period, and what I see now is you like ideology is that thing of it's it's gods, but we haven't given names to them. Yes. It's just these these dynamic forces that have awoken in the unconscious. Call them memes, call them gods, but they're driving people. Constellated and they're driving, archetypes, right? They're archetypes yeah, that have been and activated. It's, and it's that's way more exciting to me than. You know, than than the, than the idea of a yeah, few taking orders, and we're gonna yeah, people are following then, orders. But then a the few people, people that are so clever, like right, some Bond right. villain who's like maneuvered all the dominoes in a certain yes. way. It's like that's not how it works. Life is too messy. Right. But for a meme, that's not so hard because yeah. memes are like very viral. They spread through a culture, and we've got different memes collecting into different groups, hypercharged by algorithms. It's yeah, it's an absolutely right. yes. fascinating yes. landscape to observe. Yeah, the propagation like, of memes has been is exponential with Twitter or, or social media. One meme yes. can propagate and, and constellate an archetype in all kinds of ways. Yes, oh, and yes. it's we it's definitely. amazing. And so, but that 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 leads us to have a completely different aspect towards the situation than this postmodern neo-Marxist spiel of like, I th I think than 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 anything that's out there because we we've lost the language of the gods. We've lost the language of calling these these large movements these things because we now can't consciously go to the altar of i don't know what we call it athena artemis whatever you want to call the the goddess that's driving the the social justice movement or maybe it's a god i would yeah and but, i would call that religion i would say postmodern neo-marxism is a religion far more than an idea far yes. more than anything else and that's how i conceptualize it's 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 constellated that archetype of like the phoenix well let's burn everything down and from the ashes something new arises like that's that's yeah. that's a that's that's a deep archetypal a notion in people that this ideology has captivated and activated in people. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, so that's even, how I even actually, it. Yeah, we connect it with that Shiva archetype more than the Phoenix. Right. The Phoenix is kind of a neutral thing, whereas Shiva is this this dancing that is the destruction, but the, the recreation the of, of something new. Right. But so yeah, that's fair to like, say uh, that that's that, that, so that that's why I think the postmodern neo Marxist label is useful because it. It's 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 like calling it it's like calling it Calvinism or something or 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 Western mm -hmm. products you know it's a specific term but it still refers to a psychological reality. So I, I just think stuff. there's another there's another reason to be careful with the terminology you're using is that like what's your intention in using that terminology because mm -hmm. if someone has that program running and you say postmodern neo-Marxism, and they go, what are you talking about? That's a contradiction in terms, makes no sense. Yeah. Then all of a sudden you're having to explain yourself just to get to the point where they're listening to you. Because what you've shown by using the term postmodern neo-Marxist is that you probably have no idea about either. Because they're gonna go, sure. but like those things are contradictory. Most of the postmodern philosophers aren't Marxist. And all of a sudden you're in an intellectual debate about the history yes. of philosophical ideas of the 20th century, rather than being like, here, here's this cultural meme of like, we'll say postmodern critical theory. Now let's talk about the place of that, because they'll go, okay. Sure. And, and then you can have a discussion. Now, so yes, although I if would say- If your intention is to open polarity, then I think you want to be, that's, the term is very important. Fair enough, I would push back because, I don't know if you followed the critical race theory debate in the US, but there are people saying like critical theory isn't a thing. No matter what people call it, there's going to linguistic obfuscation is a strategy that's always going to be there. Right. And yeah. so whether, and so I, and so I really think like if P Peterson said, instead of postmodern Marxism, postmodern critical theory, or just critical theory, he'd run into the exact same problems. Cause I've seen that play out exactly when like people like Ben Shapiro or, or, or whoever talks about critical theory. I did a whole mm -hmm. video on critical race theory of like, it's a lie. It's a made up conspiracy. It's only being taught in colleges or it's really not that bad. Even if it is being taught to schools, it's all this different stuff. But let me, let me let me ask you this, because on the one, because I struggle, the reason I like the term postmodern neo-Marxist is because for me, it's pre it's precise, at least from my, un you know, it's obviously imprecise from your perspective or from someone else's perspective. For, but for me, it's, it's precisely identifying who I have a problem with or who the, who the, who, you know, I think is causing the problems, vice, yeah. you know, whatever that means, versus a term like woke. I could use a term like woke, which is not, which is not, you know, that's the colloquial it doesn't say anything about Marxism or postmodernism. It just it's this vague idea. So on the one hand, I could call I could I, I could label like for example, 
the people who advocate that children should be allowed to transition. That's something I'm very much against. I think that there's, all, there's surgery being performed on children. It's horrific. You know, we can go into it or whatever. I'm against that. Like, that's my, I'm a priori against that. So I could call those people doing that woke, or I could call those people doing that postmodern neo marx or anything in between in principle, right? And my problem is if I call them woke, that also encapsulates, like, people who I actually, do, like, like. Like, Bo Burnham is kind of, like, woke a little bit. Or even, I was listening to Andrew Schultz on Joe Rogan, and Andrew Schultz is like an anti-PC, but he can act a little woke or whatever. Everyone acts woke, and people would accuse me of being woke. It's very vague. And then, and then you don't run into that problem of like, well, but now we're getting into an intellectual debate of postmodern neo-Marxist. I can differentiate, like Bernie Sanders is not a postmodern neo- neo-Marxist. Bernie Sanders is a, you know, classic kind is of he socialist. Woke? He's not really I think woke he, either. I think a little bit. He, he, he bends the knee a little bit to the woke activist, you know. Yeah, yeah, because but he's, cause he's a progressive, but like... Right, right. This is what I mean. I actually think woke is a better. Now I think the the territory of language has shifted. So woke is kind of just a pejorative thing used by people. Agreed. That that's, are outside that's the other idea. Yeah, not, words not, start to lo- lose value because of how they just get used yeah. in. in the, like the, it's, there's no clean word like Christian because again the movement isn't. It's not. It's not fully conscious of itself as a right, movement. Right. 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 Yes. Uh-huh. Exactly. And so how do you talk about it looking outside when the people who are in it would would say I'm not religious or I I I I, I claim to believe a versus yeah. vice versa yeah and it, de- it depends on who you're talking to or whatnot like well, i think it's an important thing point to make as well as like this isn't the only religion in town like jordan peterson has a cultic effect on his followers sure. on like a large base of his followers the, that's an archetypal energy wise that's father yeah he 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 yeah. inhabits that sort of wise father archetype he, he people can pr- project very easily which I, it's the same with like Bernie Sanders and Ron Paul or any old white man or, you know, old man in general. It's like it's this figure mm-hmm. of wisdom. It's the Gandalf Dumbledore archetype. And it's yeah. like, oh, this person, it's easy to constellate an archetype with. Right. Um, and I agree. And, and you know, the, the flip side, because we're talking about the postmodern neo-Marxist kind of leftist revolutionary type. Well, the opposite side is is the Trump make America great again. It's like our country is pure. Another meme that's out there, yeah. Right, that's the that's the other archetypal meme. Our country It's closer to that Wotan energy. I don't know yeah. what energy you describe to that, but it's that's not Christian energy. That's not like, you know, let's all get along, you know. Right, because but, Amer- I, I don't America know is yeah. the is the ideal, not Jesus or Christ, right? It's yeah. Amer- it, this nationalistic mentality. That's the archetype that's been constellated on the right. So now you have the revolutionary Phoenix, burn everything down and from a new, we'll bring something new archetype constellated. And then on the far right, you have the, no, our, our, our country and our heritage is pure and needs to be protected. Like the, the, the you know, the, the, the 1940s Germans did. It's like, okay, now we have these two archetypes, archetypes being constellated. What happens when they become too energized? They go back and forth, mm-hmm. back and forth, back and forth. And then and one of them is out. actually, and that's yeah, I think Peterson is system. another, is, is another energy in there. Cause well, I think it overlaps with whatever energy Trump is drumming up because there's there's a divide in the Petersonian following. 